Hello. Hello. I'm here with <laughs> Becky. We've been talking about our boobs and what is normal with them and what we've kind of thought growing up. It's not always something you can just be like, hey, by the way, friend, mm -hmm. is this normal? <laughs> what were some of your insecurities growing up? Oh my gosh, my biggest insecurity is how my nipples look. Yeah, I plus one that straight up. I think they have a weird shape. Mm -hmm. I think they're really big and I think that they are oddly colored. And I remember in junior year at a pool party, you could clearly see my nipples through even my very padded bathing suit. And this kid, Paul, was like, oh, Becky's turned on. And I was like, <gasps> that's all he said, that's all he said. And then he went away and I like, it still haunts me. <laughs> that is so rude. So rude. That's embarrassing and that's mean. And if any people are watching that would say something like that to someone, they don't. You. I was self-conscious about, well, the shape of my boobs. So I've always had very small boobs, right? Mm -hmm. Like growing up tiny. I always describe it as being like a chubby 11-year-old boy. Like those are what my boobs look like. Like kind of, they're not boob shaped, but triangle shaped. Mostly growing up, like I always felt like I'd see in movies, like girls with small boobs would take off their shirts and they were like, their boobs were boob shaped, but still my size. Mm. And I always felt like I didn't actually have boobs. Like this was just literally fat. Just hanging yeah, out. like it wasn't as it didn't, sculpted as no, you it want didn't them. look sculpted at all. Yeah. And my nipples <laughs> are very wide and big. Can um, you say wide and big? Reference. Like, like wide. I feel like the areola is pretty spread out. And then also one was slightly bigger than the other, and I'm like, is that a normal thing? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, but I feel like mine are very uh, pronounced. Like, I have like, like, it's like a cup Oh, page. I've seen nipples like that. Have you? Yeah. But when I was about 11 or 11 to 13 is when puberty obviously hit mm -hmm. and more hair started to grow. But the length of hair, the darkness of the hair and the thickness of the hair, I once joked that it was like I had bangs. I had like boob <laughs> bangs. I had like boob bangs. <laughs> like Did you shave it, was, it? I used to shave it and now I pluck them. Oh Lord. It's tough because if you look up these questions online, it's a jungle. It's all the way from you're totally fine to you're gonna die. Yeah, anyway, so what are we gonna do? Um, I had an idea to, my mom is a physician, and I had an idea to Skype her up, and we can just ask her some boob questions. Let's do it, I'm really excited. <laughs> I have so many questions. Okay, so mom. This is my friend Ella. Hi. Hi Ella. Nice to meet you. I'm ready for any question about boobs. Okay. Ooh, okay. I love it. How much nipple hair is normal for nipple hair? Cause mom, I'm like blonde and don't have a lot of hair and then around my boobs, we're talking like a decent length of hair. Uh, that's pretty common actually. Really? Really and though? It, and it's more common in your late 20s up until probably prior to menopause and then it starts disappearing. So having hair like that, like in your pubic area, is is a sign of sexual maturity. Whoa, get a load of that. So do people just shave it off then? Because you never see that in movies. I mean, they may, you know, shave it, they may pluck what it. What is a normal average sized nipple? I think I have a big nipple projecting point. And Ella thinks that she has a big nipple space-wise. So you see what we're saying? Ella's working with width, I'm working with depth. Okay, um, depth and width are kind of like, um, uh, I would say like the shape of a nose, okay? Um, some people have small noses, some people have bigger noses, some people have wider noses, some people have short noses. All right, but like what is the, at what point, and be honest, this is just, you know, just, just gals talking. At what point would the, the size of the nipple, would you see a patient and be like, oh God. Well, I think if I, you know, if it was on the on on top of the shoulder, you know. All right. right. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Well, whenever I buy those like pasties that like help conceal nipple stuff, my right. nipples are always like, nope. Like they are fierce and They're... prominent. And is that normal? Yeah, you're, you're normal, Becky. There's nothing, I mean, I would be the first to let you know if you were abnormal. Yeah. You would tell uh, me? Uh, of course I She's would. She's your mom and yeah. a doctor. So what you're saying is all nipples are different, kind of like some... Yeah, I think probably what most people 
suffer from is that for a long time, for instance, like in Playboy, they never showed women with pubic hair. Yeah. So sometimes men got the idea that women didn't have pubic hair. What was another one that you were insecure okay. about? Well, one thing that I wanted to ask you about is like one being bigger than the other. Very like, common. Exceedingly common. Okay. There can even be a difference in nipple projection. Sometimes a nipple will project down. Oh. I've heard people say like, don't wear a bra at night. That's BS. I mean, oh. you know. Okay. Oh, Ma's got opinion. <laughs> well, another follow-up to that is, so like, what causes your breasts to get bigger? Is it weight gain? Is it hormonal? Because mine really didn't get bigger until last year, so I had a pretty small boob How old are you? all growing up. I'm 27. Women mature into their 20s. The height you are around 12, 13 is pretty much, for most women, you don't get taller after that. But other characteristics on women do tend to change. Wow, that's high. incredible. So height this way stops around 16, but height this way can right. keep going into mid-20s. That's great to know. That's encouraging. And there's also marijuana makes breasts bigger in both men and women. <gasps> um, <laughs> What were you saying about marijuana and, and boob size? And, and boob size. Let's go back to that one. Marijuana is supposedly a cause of what we call gynecomastia. Gynecomastia just means an enlargement of breast tissue, not fat. But also, there are other medications that cause breast enlargement. Marijuana is not only one. All right, well, well, this was really great. Mom, this was terrifying, comforting, all at the same time. Remind me, I'm gonna wanna follow up with you about what's a normal amount of butt hair, but we can get to that a different day. That's a different butt hair? Yeah. Okay, nice meeting you, okay. Bella. <laughs> nice meeting you, appreciate it. All right, bye, Mom. Okay, bye. Bye. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That was so much information. It's nice to know the scope of weird things that are normal. Yeah. Plus, I feel like she said it in a tone that I believed. Yes. You and don't worry about if your boobs are too big or too small, if your nipples are right. pointing a weird way or one's bigger than the other. Like, turns out they're all beautiful. Yeah. Any other body questions you have? You can call my mom up next week. Let's do it. Okay. And also, share with us any funny stories you have regarding your boobs or nipples. Yeah. My favorite part was when my mom casually mentioned the marijuana thing, and I look over at your face and you're just like... Well, I mean, yeah. it sounds like a wonder drug to me, <laughs> but that's a different video. <laughs>